from the 19th century, come tell us, and from the beginning of the 20th century. Beginning of the, yes. Uh, from, you, from the 19th century yeah. and from the beginning of the 20th century. Are you doing calculus is uh, the Vinolic reconstructions, copies, is the Vinolic Tanjos, is the tradition Tanjos, Prajos? I'm representing you the style of Finnish Karelian candlelit play from the 19th century. Tai yra jubros Suomijos karelų stiliumi iš užrašytų 19 metų. From this particular area in Karelia, which uh, uh, some parts of it now, is now on the Russian side and some parts on the Finnish side, from this particular area, the so-called um, border Karelia and Latakot Karelia, uh, we haven't uh, recorded a single strumming technique mm -hmm. uh, piece of music, but all old traditional music was played with this special plucking technique. Karelija dabar yra perskelta į dvi dalis, dalis priklauso Rusijai, dalis Suomijai. Bet Karelijoje iš vis neužrašyta, kaip mes įpratę groti kanklėmis brauktų kinių būdų. Iš vis tokio grojimo neužrašyta ir grojama tik pirštinių būdų. This old blocking technique uh, is uh, very keenly connected to the old runo song culture. I don't know if you know runo songs. Šita technika yra labai susijusi su runo dainų. Do you know Kalevala? Tai yra labai you know Kalevala? Ok, Kalevala is a, a book that is collected from the old poems. There are over 80,000 poems that, were that are collected, that were sang poems, and we call it runo song culture. How many thousand? 80,000. And this, this And this uh, special playing technique is connected to that runos and culture. Tai šis grojimas, ši technika yra susijusi su runo. In this uh, technique, the hands are together. There is no accompaniment hand and melody hand. There are different fingerings. It can be like this or like this or, or every other. But in, in, for example, in five string cantilas, it means that each string has one finger which plays the string Okay, uh, we have a, a roughly set northern cantilest and southern cantilest. This is northern, northern style. Šiaurės stilius, kai dugnas išskaptuotas, nei iš viršaus skaptuojamos, o iš dugno. It is hollowed out from one piece of wood from below, so there is no bottom plate. Ir iš vis nėra patinės lentelės. This is uh, from the uh, northwest coast of Finland. Tai yra iš šiaurės vakarinės uh, Suomijos pakratės. And here is this is a replica of an instrument that was made in 1893. And this is from the other side of the country, from eastern. This is from Vienna, Karelia, and you can see it looks almost the same. Iš kito pakraščio regiono visiškai be patrodo lygiai taip pat. Uh, this has now uh, strings made of viscose. Aha, dabar stigos šios yra pagamintos iš viskozės. Because I needed to keep tuning in concert. Dėl to, kad koncerto metu reikalinga, kad laikytų derinimą. It resembles the sound of horse hair. Atitinka ašutinių stygų skambesi. 
This one has bronze trees. Cera bronzinė stygos. And this is a replica from 1833. Cera 1833. Okay. So, uh, this is the sound of horse hair. Cera ašutų garsas. As you can hear, it's it's a totally different instrument if you use horse hair or if you use bronze. Skamba kaip visai kitokio skirtingi instrumentai, jei žiūrėjau. And then in, in the southern style, the kante was uh, hollowed out from the top. And then there was a different uh, top This is a more modern version from that kante. It has metal tuning pegs, but it has bronze and uh, brass strings. But it, it is more modern because it has metal tuning yes. And this is replica from 1916, so from the beginning of the 20th century. It, it is now made of several pieces of wood and glued together. This ponzi, which is a specialty in the Finnish Korean country, let's just part this ponzi. That part is now vanished. It's a round end. And this has steel strings. So the sound is much louder. And then we come to the more modern times. This is a modernized version from that one. It has uh, a more strict structure and uh, more, uh, bigger tension on the string, so the sound is... So, I will now play you the kind of music that we know that the 19th century old cantile players played. They said that they were playing Oma Mahtia, which is a very difficult word to translate in English. It is sometimes translated in English that it's like your own power, but it's, it's a bad word. So they were improvising for several hours and they were playing just for themselves. Uh, and because I want you to hear the differences between these different uh, um, different styles of kantele, different models of kantele, I want you to hear the different sounds. I'm going to combine these instruments. I will use the old plucking technique. I will use the old plucking technique. Uh, but I will also uh, have to separate my hands when I play two cantilas together. But the aesthetics of the music is the same. But that music also aesthetic is like a tapete. 
So I will not play you songs, but I will play you uh, one continuum of music. So please don't clap when I change from one instrument to another. Čia bus atskiri kūriniai, o bus viena iš visi ne muzika, taip kad mums reikia ne plotį. Kai perėjai namą sustoja plotį ir perėjai reikia daug kartų ne plotį. Do you have any questions? Or do you have to put these instruments? Turim klausimų, kol dar viską pasiruoš, gali mažduoti klausimų. Gali tą ateitį arčiau ir čia gal kad nors turinčiamės, gali tai atsistės vaikai, nes čia. No, I will play on the floor. Kad prašom suprasti ir klausyti. 